guys welcome back to my channel in this video I am in collaboration with Redmond and I am showing you right now their Amazon storefront and they have a wide variety of kitchen appliances including blenders toasters hand mixers and all that good stuff I did get a milk frother so that is what I'm going to be using in this video look at how cute are those toasters definitely will need to buy one of those when I get my own place anyways guys I am testing out their electric milk frother and pretty much just show you an unboxing of this product and I am showing you how I make my chai latte similar to Starbucks so if you want to see how I make it just keep on watching I would greatly appreciate it let's get started with the video also please subscribe to my channel I would really love that so let's get started with the unboxing and I am just quickly showing you how it looks like when it comes and I am going to open it up quickly and show you everything that comes inside of it. So they do have a manual that you should quickly read before actually trying out this product. Me on the other hand decided that I knew what I was doing and decided not to read the manual, just quickly browse through it. But all I can say is reading is fundamental and you should definitely read the manual because it's really simple and straight to the point. Not like most manuals that just goes on and on and you're like okay just tell me what to do. But yeah, you guys will see through this video that I am struggling trying to figure out how to turn this on. But all I really had to do was read the manual. Yeah, that's how I do it. I make simple things more difficult for myself. But yeah, definitely read the manual. It's straightforward. Super simple to do. Um, as you can see here, I'm struggling. Why am I struggling so hard? But that's just me. But I am going to start creating my chai latte. And I will show you the ingredients that I use really quickly. And this is like a Starbucks copycat. This actual brand is, you know, used by Starbucks, which is called Tazo. I think I'm saying it right. But this is the chai latte, the classic version. And I am using almond milk because your girl is lactose intolerant, so she can't use whole milk. Um, but throughout this video, I didn't realize that almond milk is not the best option to milk froth. Because, you know, it doesn't froth as much as I thought it would be. But then my sister-in-law was like, oh yeah, almond milk is not a good milk to froth. Only just a little bit. It had to use whole milk. So if you can use whole milk, please use whole milk. Um, I can't, however, because, you know, I don't, you know, want to mess up my stomach. But it did froth a little bit. And it, this product is super quiet. I had to open it up because I was like, is this thing even on? Um, but yeah, it's super quiet. You can see me here struggling to figure out how to turn this on. And oh, there you go. You got it. But yeah, you have to turn on. You have to just click on that little tiny circle in order to change the settings to whatever setting do you want. It actually has four settings, which is heating and frothing, heating without frothing, heating chocolate milk and frothing of cold milk so those are the four settings that it have right now the first setting i am using is heating my milk first because i want to make the drink actually hot um the setting i did pick was heating without frothing i should have just put the setting heating and frothing and just put all of my mix in 
but this is how I went and this is how I'm showing you at least I am learning this product as I go which is what normally people will do is just trying to figure out this product but it is super simple once you actually get a hold a hang of it I ended up doing the frothing part twice because I feel like I didn't give as much froth and this is before I knew that almond milk doesn't do a big froth than the whole milk would have but yeah it's definitely something I am going to keep using until I could get it just perfect unfortunately I can't really use whole milk but I'm pretty sure it will turn out great it still was yummy and the temperature of the milk was perfect it wasn't like scorching hot where you burned your whole entire mouth it was just the right type of temperature just to drink it right away and look at this I mean it came out froth as much as I could it came out pretty cool I ended up topping it with some pumpkin pie spice just to give it a little razzle dazzle but yeah guys if you guys are interested in this product I will put their Amazon uh, storefront in my description box below as well as a discount code for you guys to use. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, bye!